Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here next to the adorable Coconi 3D AI mini printer. And while I may be dressed for a funeral, this cute little printer is dressed in white. We are going to set it up and run our first test print. There is a lot to learn about this little printer and Coconi was kind enough to send me a full color PDF all about the printer, its features, and 3D printing in general. This is a really cool document. However, we won't be getting into that today. We will simply be setting up this printer so those of you who already own it can follow along and get started with your little printer. I will, however, touch on this one page. It is the Coconi EC2 specs, just so you know a little bit about your new toy. When dealing with 3D printers, you hear about build volume. Quite simply put, how wide, deep, and tall of a model you can make. The build volume for this printer is 100 by 100. That is the size of the print bed and the max height. Installed on this printer is a 0.6 nozzle. A more common nozzle size is a 0.4. This one has a 0.6. That increased nozzle size will reduce the amount of detail this machine can print. However, it will be sufficient for most models and the larger size will help decrease your print time. Your max hot end temperature is 260, that's quite high. Your max printing speed is 100 MMS. That's quite fast. All current filaments at the time of this video are PLA and the printer does indeed have a stock 720p camera. In order to connect to this printer, you will use the Coconi app on your app store. You will connect Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You will not be able to connect to a 5G Wi-Fi. You must have a 2.4G. The first step in setting up this printer is to plug it in. On the back of your printer, there's a little hole and a switch. One is on, zero is off. Take the end of your AC adapter and connect it to the hole. Plug the other end into your wall or surge protector. Make sure your printer is switched to off, that is the zero setting, and connect the AC adapter to your wall or surge strip. Before we do that, I am going to open my door so I can watch it set itself up and calibrate. You should probably do that too. Once plugged in, the printer will go through a process that takes about 30 to 60 seconds for its initial setup. With the printer plugged in and the door open, go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, the printer has gone through its setup routine and parked the hot end. We will now open the Coconi app on our phone and continue the setup of this printer. With your printer turned on, press and hold this button till it beeps. Your printer is now searching for Bluetooth connections. On your app, go to the Me section Click on My Devices and create an account. I'm going to use Google. Check the box, then check your login method. Mine's going to be Google. Once you've created an account, it will return you to the home screen where you'll choose My Devices. In My Device, click on New Device. We are working with the Coconi EC2. Press connect. Approve Bluetooth. The phone is asking me to manually connect to the printer. I will do that. Here it is, the Coconi D7E0. I'll choose pair and we are now connected. I will then return to the app. Once returned to the app, you will see Bluetooth connected and click next. Coconi is now asking us to set up the Wi-Fi connection. You may only use a 2.4G Wi-Fi. 
it does ask you to manually type in the Wi-Fi, which is unfortunate. Once you've done this, select connect and it will send your credentials to the printer. So the printer is capable of connecting to the internet. Your phone will send the information via Bluetooth to the printer. And once the printer has successfully connected to Wi-Fi, you will see this screen. Let's have a look at what we see here. The device ID, the Coconi 3D EC2 printer. Its status is idle. Firmware version is 24. The remaining filament is 100% and it is PLA. Once here, you are greeted with a few options. We are going to look at printer maintenance next to your firmware setting, showing firmware version 2.4. Your firmware may be different depending on when you watch this video. Let's click on printer maintenance and make sure we have the latest version of the firmware. You will see my update has failed. I do believe that is because this is the latest version of the firmware. Before starting our first print, we will make sure the printer is okay and we will prepare our print bed. Do that by touching maintain device next to device maintenance and press confirm. This process will take about two minutes. During this process, your printer is heating and cooling for the first time. Proper heating and cooling is critical to the function of your printer. Also during this test, if you look in the back of your printer, you will see the chamber cooling fan is running for the first time. However, with the door open, the chamber cooling fan is serving very little purpose. If you'd like to protect the printer from outside elements to help it heat and cool more efficiently, you may close the lid and now your printer is operating in a full enclosure. However, for this test, we are going to leave the lid open. Your screen will now show the maintenance is complete and one thing you will notice is the printer has presented the print bed. It's at this time I'd like you to gently remove the print bed. Grab this flap right here in the middle, lift up, and slide the print bed forward. This is a great opportunity to clean the bed to make sure it's free of oils and foreign substances from manufacturing. You can spray it with IPA and wipe it down with a paper towel or use a pre-soaked alcohol cloth and simply give that bed a nice firm wipe down. After that, the manual does in fact recommend using glue stick. However, glue stick is not provided in the kit. I am going to take this opportunity to use a simple dollar store type glue stick while the print bed is still warm and put a very thin coat across the surface of the print bed. You will notice I didn't press on it. I simply slid it along and let the finest coat warm over the print bed. Now you can go ahead and return the print bed to the printer do be gentle, this is your heated plate under the print bed. However, don't panic as the brown surface is simply a magnet. We will slide the print bed gently with the word Coconi in the front to the back until it stops and snap it down. Congratulations, your printer is ready to print its first model. And now it's time for the moment of truth. We are going to print our very first model. Unlike traditional 3D printers, we can choose and print a model directly from the Kukoni app. Let's do that now. Inside our profile screen, you will see things such as your saved models, your favorite models, your printer history, your 3D scans, and your own personal uploads. However, since we have not done any of this yet, none of those things are present. So we will go ahead and find our very first model to print using Kokoni's built-in library. To do that, click on Home. Here you will be greeted with a whole lineup of potential models that you may print. This is the very first time running this printer. I want to make sure the machine is okay before I start throwing too much at it. So we will look for a model that's fairly easy to print and won't take overly long. I don't see anything I like here, so I will touch discover more. I see a cute little penguin, so let's go ahead and print that. Touch on the penguin and it will open up the penguin's screen and here you can learn all about this particular model. Looking towards the bottom, you will see the model's name is Penguin. Its print duration is medium, and its size is 6.6 .6 .6 x 6.9 x 4.4. Kokoni 3D organizes its models in three duration categories. Short is one hour, 
medium is two hours and the long is three hours. You will see our cute little penguin here is two hours. I think that's a good happy medium to test out the capabilities of this printer while also making sure this particular printer is okay and has no issues. Unlike traditional 3D printing, 3D printing on the EC2 is much simpler. Go ahead and press start. You will see the model has loaded into Coconi's version of a slicer. If this is your first time opening a model, you will be greeted with a tutorial. You can dismiss that tutorial. Inside this slicer, you will notice some very basic controls, such as the ability to resize, rotate, or reposition the model. We won't be doing any of that today. We are going to leave it as is and simply press next in the upper right corner. Once you press next, Kokoni will prompt you with the available compatible printers and you will select the one you wish to send the model to. We only have one connected, it's the EC2, and we will send it to that by pressing confirm. That printer's status, by the way, is marked as standby. The green symbol indicates it is connected to Wi-Fi and there is 100% filament remaining. I am pressing confirm now. Here is where those of you familiar with printing will find a rather unique approach by Coconi. You will see you have the option to auto-generate supports, yes or no. Choose your precision level, normal, high, or low, and then view how your changes reflect the printing time and filament usage by touching view printing time and filament usage. Your estimated print time, one hour, 56 minutes, and it will use 9% of your available filament. Here you can choose save or start printing. Since everything's defaulted anyway, we're gonna choose start printing. Once you start the print, go ahead and close the door so your printer has better control over the ambient temperature. Now that your print is being sent to the printer, you may go ahead and leave the app. Utilizing your phone as normal, it will not affect the function of the print job. At this time, the printer's hot end is heating the nozzle. When the nozzle reaches printing temperature, it will begin the print job. Currently, the app does not show the temperature of the hot end. This is somewhat unusual in the 3D printing industry, and perhaps that will change in the future. However, for now, the only information we are given is that the hot end is indeed heating. Oddly enough, it does say the extruder is preheating. However, it is not the extruder, it is the hot end and nozzle. All right, you can see the printer has started and I can't resist having a look. Avoid doing this. It can cause warping and all kinds of other issues as you expose the hot filament to sudden cold temperatures. Here you can see the printer is preparing a skirt. This becomes the basis for the model to help it maintain its position on the bed. And it has in fact begun 3D printing our cool, cute little penguin. The hot end fan is rather large and it does obscure our view a bit. So I'll go ahead and shut the door and let the printer do its thing. However, now that our print is underway, the EC2 does have one more trick up its sleeve, and that is video print monitoring. On the app, look towards the bottom of the screen and touch print monitoring. This is not a live feed. It will simply show you a recent video clip. In this case, my clip is five seconds. We'll go ahead and leave this printer alone and come back in two hours. Now, during this print, should you notice something is wrong with the printer, you are able to stop it using the app. Simply scroll further down the screen and you will see pause and cancel. 
Notice that when pressing pause and cancel, it does tell you there may be up to a 30 second delay for that action to happen. So if you do need to turn it off rather suddenly, use the power button. However, I would avoid doing that unless absolutely necessary. Otherwise, go ahead and leave your printer alone and come back when it's done. Okay, our print is complete. You may open the door and see your model. One of the nice things about the EC2 is the fact that it can present the model. In other words, move the print bed forward with the front door shut. Now that our penguin is complete, we can go ahead and remove it from the print bed. It may be possible to pop that model off the bed while still installed in the printer. However, this is a very small and somewhat delicate machine. I would suggest sparing it that stress and simply popping the print bed off the printer. To do that, I simply put my hand on top of the printer, pinched the front of the print bed and popped it up. Keeping in mind, this is in fact a magnetic bed. Here you can see Mr. Penguin. He is surrounded by a print skirt and he has supports on his overhangs. These were automatically generated by the Coconi slicer. To free him from the print bed, we give it a slight flex, and I do mean slight, and the model will pop right off. You are left with this print skirt. You should be able to get your finger and just peel under it and get it off the bed and discard it. This leaves us with our little penguin. He has some supports. To remove those supports, you can use a small needle nose plier or a pair of clippers of your own. Be very gentle. We're not going to squeeze and clamp. These things are nasty and will hurt you. We are just going to grab gently and give a little pressure. Most of the times, that little pressure, I grab gently, give a little twist. Most of the times, those supports will pop right off the print. So we don't necessarily have to clip supports off. We just get a little bit of a grip, give a little twist, and off they go. If you do have a little rough patch, you can take your snipper and just give it a little gentle little trim. Again, we work very carefully with these. And there it is. It's super hard to see him in white, but we have gone ahead and printed a fairly decent looking penguin with no manual calibration whatsoever. I will happily call this print a success. And if you got something along these lines, I'd call yours a success also. Coconi was kind enough to include a full set of acrylic markers. Go ahead and paint your little penguin however you'd like. And there it is. I have created a multicolor 3D print using my Coconi EC2 3D printer. I'm sorry, laugh all you want, but this is the coolest toy in the entire world. So there it is. We have successfully set up our Coconi EC2 mini AI 3D printer and successfully printed our very first 3D model. There's a lot more to do and a lot more to learn about working with the EC2 and its very interesting Coconi 3D printer software. Things such as scanning your face and printing it, 3D scanning an object and printing it, doing supports manually, and other interesting features. We will need to take some time and go over the program in full to learn all the ins and outs of its features, how to use them, and how well they really work. If you're interested in learning more about those with me, let me know in the comments and we'll continue working with this really cool little 3D printer. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and setting up the cute little EC2 3D printer to test print our very first little cute penguin was today's adventure. Short, medium, long, short, short, medium, long. It's a good thing I did that in the correct order. Hey.